Hey, hey, hey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Amateur Dueling Dealers of Comic Art. This is our fourth amateur bout between two newcomers, Tatiana and Michael. For those new to the show, the format is quite simple. Structured like a prize fight, two original comic art sellers compete for your hard-earned cash, presenting comic art for sale that is either new to the market or price to sell. The seller with the most sales by the end of the show is crowned tonight's champion. During the show, there are 15 rounds of art for sale. Rounds one through two are $500 or less, three to four, $1,000 or less, five through eight, $2,000 or less, nine through 12, $3,000 or less, and anything goes in rounds 13 through 15. Rounds one through four and 13 through 15 give the seller 90 seconds to make their pitch to sell their art, and rounds five through 12 provide the seller 60 seconds per round. Viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. If you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing to this channel and always Hulk smash that like button and be sure to turn on notifications. To claim an artwork you want to purchase, type your claim in the chat in the following format. Claim 8 Tatiana or claim 15 dash Michael. In other words, the word claim followed by the round number a dash and the seller's name. Each time a seller presents an artwork, the exact claim wording will be on the screen just above the art description. Try to claim an artwork for sale during the seller's live round, but if you miss that window, you can claim an artwork at any time during the rest of the show. You'll be given a last chance at all unsold artwork during the recap when the sellers are more open to wheel and deal if the duel is indeed a close one. Since this is the internet, there can be technical issues. When several people try to claim the same artwork at the same time, your browser may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio. Our view of the chat is ordered properly and we will make the final decision on who has claimed the artwork. During a dealer's live round, you may make an offer to that seller. That seller is also not required to respond, reply, acknowledge, or accept the offer. Be courteous and only message sellers who are currently in their live spotlight. After the show is over, be sure to contact the seller if you've claimed any artwork. Let them know which artwork you claimed, your YouTube or Facebook handle, and your mailing address. Let's get ready to wheel and deal! For, for Halloween, but I went with it today because I had the shirt on and thought I'd give it a try. How are you both doing this evening? Great, thanks. Awesome. All right. Well, it's a fine night indeed on this Monday evening. Obviously, a off night for us normally, but the Amateur Dueling Dealer Show is ready for the two of you, so it should be a lot of fun. And I, I love that background, oh, Michael. Thank you. It's uh, my living room. That is amazing out there. And uh, Tatiana, nice artwork on the wall. I think I recognize it. Yeah, I got a couple uh, nice Witcher um, comic cover paintings from um, my buddy Jeremy Wilson. Yep, no, I love Jeremy's work. Hopefully we'll get to see him at IX this year. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, so I'm just reading through the chat. Everybody's here, like always, Tim, Daniel, Jason. Uh, nice to have everybody here. Bill plus Shaggy equals Baggy. All right. Well, I don't like that one. All right, Jeffrey Moy, that one's not going to stick. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so Tatiana, uh, boxes arrived at uh, both my place and Michael's. That's pretty interesting. Very, very nice. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing what we got in there. But uh, are you both ready to start the show? And uh, the first thing we have to do, like we always do, is flip a coin to see who is going to start the show off for us. So I picked the images that you both sent me for uh, for the show. And here, let's get this first coin flip out of the way to see who begins. And my coin flipper isn't happy. There we go. Tatiana, you have the honors. All right. I watched this show enough. Let's see if I can not mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's uh, it's like riding a bike if you watch it a few times. It's very uh, very familiar, very easy. 
But uh, let's get you queued up here with your first round artwork. And of course, rounds one through four have two artworks for each round, everyone. And we try to keep it at 45 seconds per piece in the 90 second window that we've got. So let's uh, get Tatiana's first artwork up on screen. So I wanted to start with saying I'm happy to take time payments on anything tonight, as always. I'm always easy to work with on time payments. Um, I have some cool pieces that uh, Mike McCone did for the, just for the show, and a lot of people know how hard it is to get stuff from him. Um, we do the, those art drops, and his pieces sell in uh, you know a matter of minutes, and um, you know we go through 100 pieces in just a few minutes. So he did some special pieces just for the show. Um, so I have a, a, an ink Batman here. It's a, about seven by ten ish that he did for the show. Um, so it's not too often you see him do ink stuff. We've been mostly selling watercolor. So this is a really fun, uh, nice, nice bust of Batman there for you. And then the second one, well, it looks like we have a claim there from Timothy. So thank you. Well, I'll let you do the order, Bill. I know you need to do the order. Uh, that's all right. Yep. Okay. You, you focus on the art. All right, um, and then the second one to go with that, um, he did a Joker. So we have a really fun Joker bust. Um, I absolutely love um, the expression he has on his face here. So so Mike's done a variety of different fun Joker um, expressions, and this, I always like the fun the fun Joker. So we got, and then look at his little lapel there. He did. Oh, very nice. He's been watching. He's been watching old cartoons. <laughs> So I thought that was really fun too. So um, I, I used to love watching old cartoons when I was a kid too. Well, and you had the second artwork claimed as well by Tim. Thank you, Tim. Awesome, thanks, Tim. Expecto Patrono. The dollar bill, all right, fantastic. All right, let me get this uh, set up here for you. I'm switching these things around. And, and and I was asked to ask you about the giant rock. Is it? Am I allowed to ask about the giant rock, Michael? Who me? Yeah, somebody said. Uh, you mean the boot, the, the the Buddha head? Sorry, on this side. Yeah, on that side. Yes, that it's what, a Buddha head. It's a Buddha. Well, okay, now we've got clarification. It's not a giant rock. It is a Buddha head. <laughs> All right, let's get uh, your first artwork queued up here, and there are. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Great. Oh, and well, that one. Yep. Uh, uh, everyone expects me to to have some Perez tonight, and so I figured I would start with some. And in, in particular, I've got some of these beautiful, uh, full-color painted pieces from the Hulk Future Imperfect series. Uh, both pages feature the maestro. Uh, the first one, as the maestro is getting ready to go uh, to, to interrogate uh, and try to find out why his uh, his past self is there. Uh, and the second one where the uh, maestro is tracking the Hulk who's uh, been, been injured and uh, is bleeding. Uh, these are indeed fresh to market pages. Uh, thank you, Mark Levy. They fit your definition. Uh, 25 years ago since they've uh, seen the light of day. And so uh, I just thought these would be an inexpensive way to get some of these great uh, pages. Uh, second, we've got a couple of, a page from uh, the Fables Ferris in all the land graphic novel by Bill Willingham. These pages are drawn by Gene Ha. Uh, Fables is now coming back, as uh, people may have read. It's being relaunched by DC, picked up the, where they left off. And uh, so these are two great, uh, there's the published page and also the unpublished uh, that uh, that Gene had done originally and, and made alterations to in order to get to the publish. Two very nice pieces to start off with. Simon Williams has great range as an actor. Here's Strong and Silent. And here's Pissed Off That I'm Not Selling Enough Artwork. <laughs> I love that one. And uh, someone did type claim uh, one, but didn't say whether it was A or B. And just to clarify things, uh, Jason wanted to be sure, are they color guides? He's not sure. That's for, for, for your 1A set. Um, well, these, these are hand-painted blue line paintings. So you can see 
that they're uh, yeah that they're fully painted. Um, so they're like color guides, but the, for this book, they went to a different process where the, the colorist did actual paintings of, of the work. So it's like an acetate overlay that has the line work on it, and then you have the actual painted artwork underneath it. Correct. Okay. All right. And uh, George made a mistake, as people sometimes will when they get a little excited watching the show. So just kind of keep that in mind, everybody. You always need to uh, refrain from hitting enter when you're in the chat, as uh, unless you're really ready to claim. But in uh, and, and rounds one through four, you always need to state whether it's A or B, because there are two pieces of artwork in the first four rounds for each seller. All right, so we're moving over to round two here, Tatiana. Let me get your artworks queued up here for you. And here we go. All right, to continue on the Batman theme, I have this really cool pencil sketch from Enrico Marini, who is um, just a powerhouse. Uh, his sketches can be really hard to get, um, and his work is, is not cheap, so I thought this would be a great piece to offer. It's really affordable um, at $350 for this beautiful pencil bust. Um, it's A4 size, so 8.5 by 11. You can see all the, the nice detail on there. He did this at... Um, the Como show a couple of years ago. So this is a really good way to get a really nice piece from Enrico without having to spend, uh, you know, well over a thousand dollars to get it. So this is a, um, a good entryway opportunity for a piece from Enrico. Um, nice. And then I'll move to the second one, which is from Clayton Henry. He's known for doing these really nice um, uh, color pencil pieces. So this is a spider woman piece. This is 11 by 14 full figure. A uh, really nice detail on this, and not a lot of people work in colored pencil, so this is really, really cool. So get the... Um, Tim, what are you asking about which piece? Uh, I think he was worried, uh, the Lake Como show, I think, was what he was asking about. That's yeah, that's from Lake Como Comic Art Festival from a couple of years ago. He's been a, a guest at that show um, both years that we had the show, so he uh, he did that at the show, and then... That's where I got it from. And this is the, the Clayton Henry was an at-home commission. Very nice. Well, I hope to make it to Lake Como sometime in the, in the first, you know, I don't know if it's uh, probably in 2022, but it's on my list. Do, Matt, are you claiming the Spider Woman? It looks like we have a claim on the Spider That is Woman. what I just saw as well. Yes. Matt James picked up the Spider Woman. Congratulations, Matt. All right, so let's get uh, Michael's round two artworks queued up here. And here is uh, the first pair. So I like sequential pages and I cannot lie. Um, <laughs> so offered here are two sequential pages from the Slingers series from Marvel. I don't know how many people remember the Slinger series. There were four costumes used by Peter Parker when he was wanted for murder after being framed by Norman Osborn. But the reason I have these pages is because they're very prominently showing uh, Mephisto, the, the very popular villain right now uh, in the Heroes Reborn event being done by Marvel and rumored to be an upcoming uh, major villainous uh, force in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Soon. And that one is claimed uh, nice. by Nick Perucci. Thank you, Nick. Thank, and we'll thank move you, over Nick. to your, this is your 2B artwork. Yep, so next up is uh, from the who's who in the DC Universe. Uh, we have the Red Star uh, by Tom Grummet. Uh, I'm one who always loved the who's who and official handbook uh, series that, that were done. This uh, piece is from the second series, the deluxe series that DC did, and uh, just a beautiful rendition of Red Star, who was a pretty major player in the books in the 90s. And that, and that one is claimed as well claim. by Caesar. Excellent. Congratulations, Caesar. And Michael as well. That was, that was a really good round. That's good. Broke the ice. Yay. Broke the ice, yes. <laughs> It's always good to get that out of the way. Yes. All right. Let's uh, move over to round three now. And Tatiana, let's get your artwork on screen. And here we go. So um, offering from my personal collection, this um, 
commission that Russ Braun did of The Boys. So The Boys is one of the, the hottest shows on TV right now on Amazon Prime. And Russ was one of the main um, artists on the book. So he is known for doing work on The Boys. Um, this piece um, features uh, all of our main crew here. So we have Butcha here in the front. And then we have all the rest of our crew in the background, including, including the female floating away there um, with a handful of balloons up style, uh, which is really, really cool. So um, Russ doesn't attend a whole lot of shows. So getting a commission from him is not the easiest thing in the world. Um, and it's getting harder and harder to get artwork from the boys. This is unpublished, but it was a commission. So it's getting a lot harder to get um, work from this book. Second piece is from um, Dale Keown and Joe Weems. This is original inks over original pencils. This was from Avengers 26 um, that came out a year or two ago. It's a beautiful page featuring um, featuring one of our, our main character from the book, which we actually found find out later in this issue um, is gay and this is his partner. So that is, uh, a kind of a fun and unique thing that we you know, aren't used to seeing too much in this in these books. So this was a great um, hero for them to bring in. All well, right. Looks like we have a claim on that one from Nick. I was just going to pull that up from Nick. Yeah. Congratulations, Nick. All right, and uh, we, let's see. Let me close that one. And there was a, uh, someone did actually make a offer to you, Michael. Rob Brush offered you $200 for the uh, the two, your 1A artwork. The Perez uh, I, Smith. I, I could do 250 if he's interested. All right, so, so that 250 is out there, Rob, if you're interested. Otherwise, uh, we'll see where things go in the recap. All right, so let me get your round three artwork queued up here, Michael. And here we go. So round three, I decided to start with a commission. And this is Galactus, done by the amazing Joe Jusco, who's probably best known for his work on the Marvel Masterpieces painted trading card sets. Uh, this is just this majestic. And, and I don't know if people realize, but uh, Jusco's commissions start at $800 for black and white commission. So this is already a bargain before even. Uh, yep. And that one is claimed. It was, claimed. It was, many people wanted that one. This one goes to AJ. Excellent. All right. Let's um, get your second next one here. Up, sure. Next up, I have a page uh, from The Flash, Flash 220 uh, by Dick uh, Giordano. When uh, he followed uh, Neil Adams uh, uh, and as people remember, he inked Neil Adams during uh, Adams' amazing run uh, in, the, in, in the 70s. And then when the Green Lantern was moved to a backup feature in Flash, uh, here Giordano is doing his best uh, Adams uh, imitations. You can see in this, in this last panel in particular, is very Adams-esque. Anyway, a fun battle page as, uh, as Hal defends himself from uh, a... a uh, uh, an intergalactic assassin uh, here on Earth, and uh, just just a beautiful page from you know a, a story that's forty years almost forty years old. So very nice. Somebody in the chat should be able to tell me why we keep selling so much artwork. <laughs> you know, I got to go with the gimmicks on some of these. How, how I roll. Uh, congratulations to AJ on that. And if uh, you didn't notice, Michael, Rob Rush did claim the 1A artwork at the 250 as you had requested. Oh, great. Congrats, Rob. Okay. Yes, congrats to Rob. So we're moving over to round four now. And let me get Tatiana's artwork ready to go here. Here we go. All right, so this is the uh, last new piece that Mike did just for the show. Uh, he did this full 11 by 17 watercolor Superman, really nice classic Superman shot here um, with the beautiful kind of soft blue in the background. One of the things about Mike's pieces is you really can't appreciate the, the depth of the color unless you see it in person. But I thought this was really a fun piece. This will look great on somebody's wall. 
Um, it's a really nice kind of centerpiece. Good for, you know, living room, kids room. It'll look good all over the place. So this is a really nice one. Um, and again, Mike's um, watercolor drops that we do, these pieces sell really, really fast. So I wanted to get an opportunity for, for this one to be in here. Oh, thank yep. you, Bill. And Bill Byers did pick that one up. So let's show your next artwork here. Here we go. And the second one is Addy Granov, um, Benedict Cumberbatch as Sherlock, like from the TV show. This is a seven by 10 pencil and ink, very detailed piece. So not like a quick sketch. It's, it's super, super detailed. You can see a lot of that rendering um, on the right side of his face there into the scarf. Um, nice um, volume in the jacket there. So you can really see a lot of the, the detail on this piece, so. Nice Addy Granov there for you. And um, I hope you like it. I think this is really nice if you're a fan of the actor at all. It's a really, really cool piece. It's beautiful. Well done. Great. I got a sale. Now there's an empty spot in my portfolio buy something else to refill it. <laughs> yeah, we all know that feeling. <laughs> yes. So uh, true. So true. Yeah. The moment you sell something, you're always looking for that next purchase. All right. So let's get your round four artwork queued up here, Michael. And here we go. So I'm starting with a really cool piece. It's a pure pencil uh, page from Daredevil, uh, drawn by the amazing Gil Kane. Um, this thing is from uh, probably 1976. Uh, it's noted as being from issue 140, although in looking at issue 140, which was drawn by Sal Buscema, clearly it's not from that issue, but uh, it looks like it might've been done for issue 141 because 139 was an inventory story and things got bumped anyway. Um, uh, it, this looks like it should have been in the second half of the book, which ended up the second half uh, being drawn uh, by Bob Brown instead. Uh, but anyway, beautiful pencils, still in an amazing shape, uh, uh, no fading, no smudging. This is just a, a beautiful piece. Um, my second piece, uh, the last commission that I'm bringing out, uh, this is a Perez commission for uh, uh, the DC Captain Marvel, Shazam. Uh, Billy Batson transforming uh, by saying his magic word. And uh, you can see right in, in, the, in the background here, you've got uh, Billy Batson. Uh, this is done on DC paper. Um, the, uh, and it was done in uh, 2013 while Perez was still working at DC. So that's probably why he's got... Uh, uh, right. I see claims. I see yes, claims. Uh, yes. I thought Jimmy this would the, be a claimy piece. Yes, Jimmy the Greek Jr. claimed your 4B artwork, and Ted Latner Anthony. claimed your 4, 4A artwork. Jimmy the Greek. Living up to the name, destroying the competition. <laughs> Lots of statues I think we're going to be seeing tonight. <laughs> so I didn't think claimed? to do that. <laughs> What's that? I didn't think to do that. That would have been fun. Use statues. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I was looking at them and I thought, I could. I think I can drop that wall out behind there and put some flames or something. So I was able to mess around with it and make it a little more fun. But those are great. Those are really fun. All right. So we are moving over to round five and the rounds uh, from now and until round 12 are all 60 second rounds. There's only one piece of artwork per round in these rounds as well. So you don't need to put an A or a B when you're claiming these. It's just the round number. So let me queue up the first artwork here for Tatiana and we'll get this one going. All right. So this piece is small but mighty. It is a really nice uh, Jim Lee, very detailed Batman head sketch this i bought i got this directly from jim and albert at como a few years ago and it's on this it's got a little dc logo printed on there as well really really nicely detailed so this isn't a super quickie sketch this was a, a pre-done very detailed sketch has his name on the bottom as well so great great opportunity to get a, a beautifully detailed sketch from jim for 
you know, less than four figures. Oh, exactly. looks like we have a claim. And it was claimed. Congratulations awesome. to uh, Maki Pupu. Thank you. And I was curious because I'd seen those, uh, those were with some of the statues. That's that kind of same shape piece of paper. So he actually did that at Como as well. Yeah, they were, um, he had done some different ones and they were selling them at, at the booth. So that one was my favorite, but I have, you know, can't keep everything that you have. So exactly <laughs> move it along to the next collector who will enjoy it. Yes. And it's round five still, by the way, I don't, not sure our producer switched it to round six, but it is indeed still round five waiting to see it change, but that's okay. We all know it's round five. Everybody we'll we'll keep it right where it's at. So, uh, we're going to start off the round five artwork here for you, Michael, right now. So as uh, as, as our friend Nick Ferrucci would say, this page is by the Don Newton uh, <laughs> from uh, his, his run on Batman and Detective. Uh, this is from Detective Comics 518. From, it's from 1982, so almost 40 years old. Uh, we've got uh, Batman recovering as he's been... Uh, given an antidote uh, from being turned into a vampire. Uh, and Dick Grayson is summoned by Alfred to come upstairs to help deal with Vicki Vale, who's trying to prove that Bruce and Batman are the same person. And as, uh, as Dick Grayson opens the door into the study, uh, even though here we only see him saying, <laughs> good grief, uh, inside is... Uh, Bruce Wayne talking to Vicki Vale, and it's actually uh, Christopher Chance, the human target. Uh, anyway, beautiful page, uh, beautiful art team. Bruce Patterson did an amazing job over, uh, over uh, Newton on this. So. And that one did sell as Blayden. well. Yes, Philip Bladen got that one. Congratulations, Philip. Oh, oh, nope, he canceled it. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a party foul right there. Oh. All right, well, we'll we know that we will see that artwork again in the recap. Just be careful with those fast fingers, Philip. And I saw that uh, Tim was asking about how he missed it. He, I mean, literally, they were milliseconds apart with the Jimmy the Greek in front of it. I screen capped it just in case either of you wanted confirmation of it. But it, it was, in fact, uh, Jimmy the Greek ahead of Tim on that one. So, all right. So we're moving over to round six here for Tatiana. Let me get your artwork on the screen. And here we go. All right, next is this beautiful cover from Francis Manipool, who has uh, become a very hot artist doing a lot of work over at DC Comics. This is a cover that he did for Aspen Comics um, from Soulfire Chaos Reign. This is issue two. It is drawn on Aspen artboard, which is really nice, thick, high quality board. This is mixed media, so it's pencils, inks, Copic markers to kind of give that nice ethereal feel to the uh, the creature in the back here. So uh, excellent opportunity to own a beautiful cover from um, Francis at a wonderful and affordable price. It's an absolutely stunning piece. Um, and Soulfire is um, one of the popular books through Aspen Comics. You have a lot of these um, beautiful flying creatures. This is a, a really fun character. Yeah, the, the fairy wings. Yeah, so it's a really, really <laughs> fun character. Really cool, unique style. So um, beautiful cover. And we'll see it in the recap. If no one wants it, I'm happy to put it right back in my portfolio. Very nice piece. Judging by the art that I always see on eBay, if you had Velma and Daphne on there, I bet you it would have sold. <laughs> and if they would have been mermaids, they would have sold twice as fast. So <laughs> that's uh, that's the trend of the, I don't know, 2021. It's uh, Velma and Daphne and characters drawn as mermaids. So don't know what it's all about. All right, uh, Michael, we're going to your round six artwork now. You no, I saw there was an a, a, a offer from Oh, oh that's right. Reed. That's true. I did see that as well. It was a $1,000 offer from Daryl. Uh, if you would do $1,100, I, uh, I would do that. Okay. So the $1,100 offer is out there. We'll keep an eye on the chat. Okay. Let's bring up your round six artwork then. And here we go. All right. Well, this is another beautiful pencil piece. Uh, this is by Mark Bright. Uh, it is the cover to the Green Lantern Emerald Dawn a trade paperback. 
Uh, as you may recall, Emerald Dawn was the miniseries uh, wherein Hal Jordan's origin is retold following Crisis. And uh, this is uh, just a beautiful, beautiful pencil piece. Uh, I, I, I see somewhere in, in uh, the online listings that uh, the final piece was inked by Klaus Janssen, but this is, this is the unpublished pencils. It's just, uh, just gorgeous and it looks like a claim. And that was claimed, yes, by Yuri four zero six. Fantastic, thank you, Yuri. And uh, your round five artwork was also picked up by Daryl for the eleven hundred dollar offer. Excellent, thanks, Daryl. Yes, congratulations to you both. And I should also say thank you to Maki Poo Poo for the four ninety nine super chat. I appreciate that as well. Okay, so now we're moving over to round seven. And I, I don't know if those scores are accurate, but I think they might be. And that's a pretty tight race then so far. Yeah, let's get this over here and get your round seven artwork on the screen, Tatiana. Here we go. All right. Well, I like big art and I cannot lie. Um, this is, as many of you know, Liam Sharp works huge in a lot of his art. This is a gorgeous splash page featuring Wonder Woman and Batman from the Brave and the Bold book. And it has this crazy, crazy detailed castle shot here in the background. This piece is, is all the aesthetic. It is super cool. Let me get you a close-up of the characters so you can see them better. I absolutely love the way Liam draws uh, Wonder Woman and Batman. They both look fantastic. Wonder Woman looks so regal um, on her horse there. So... I would say you're going to love this piece. Yeah, this is a really good one. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love Liam's artwork. That's beautiful. Congratulations to Tim. All right, so moving right along. Let me get this over here. And we're going to get Michael's round seven queued up. And here we go. Thanks. I think this is super claimy. So <laughs> this is a page from Marvel Team Up 32. It's from 1975 uh, by Sal DeSema, Vince Coletta. And it's uh, an awesome battle page between the Human Torch, Johnny Storm, and uh, the Son of Satan who's been possessed by a demon. And uh, they're battling, uh, <laughs> well, incredibly battling uh, in, in the six panels. Uh, I love how Johnny tries to blast him with a fire blast. <laughs> of course, the son of Satan <laughs> laughs it off, saying, "Don't you know where I was born?" Um, uh, just, but these these uh, beautiful, beautiful Sal Buscema art. Uh, Sal, I think, is one of the most underrated artists still in terms of pricing, uh, I, and his stuff just uh, is slowly but surely uh, going up and up in price. So uh, I I price this one to sell, and. Uh, and thought, it, uh, thought I'd actually have people interested in it, but that's okay. Uh, if it goes back in my collection, I won't complain. I am getting seriously destroyed. What's wrong with you people? Buy something. Buy something. More statues. All right, so we are moving over to round eight, and uh, and I saw somebody thought that the score might be a little, ne you know, needing to be updated. We always double check everything, so don't worry about that. We'll double check everything before we even get into the recap. So uh, we are moving over to round eight now, and Tatiana, you get to lead us off again, and I'm gonna pull your artwork up for right now. All right, so uh, beautiful Felipe Masafera, um, Harley Quinn here. She has captured a mouse and is debating on what she's going to do with it. Uh, watercolor and beautiful thick watercolor illustration board um, is 12 by 18. Let me give you a nice little zoom in of her face there, deciding what she's going to do with her prey. Uh, as you all know from watching Mike, I'm um, selling all the fully paid stuff on the show. This, he, this stuff sells quick. So, Oh, and Tim again. Thank you. And it did sell quick. And since I have 20 more seconds, I'm going to tell you guys that you're going to open the boxes after round eight. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. Congratulations, Tim. Another nice pickup. Yeah. And I know we have the counts right. I can tell you that. Seven, it's, uh, but it's now eight sales apiece now that we're midway through the eighth round. So, Michael, we are going to get your 
round eight artwork queued up here, and here we go. So this is a page by the amazing Brett Booth. Uh, it was done in the Titans Rebirth series that came out in 2016, and uh, it features a, an amazing splash with uh, all of the team members, Nightwing, Wonder Girl, Tempest, uh, Lilith, Arsenal, and of course, uh, Wally, Kid Flash. And that's because, uh, as you may, for those who read uh, DC during the Rebirth period, that uh, he was kind of the linchpin connecting the uh, original uh, DC universe with this Rebirth New 52 universe. And uh, so Titans was an important, important book for the mythos that they were setting up, uh, that uh, Jeff Johns had set up. Uh, this is a, just a beautiful splash. And uh, I mean, the Nightwing image alone is, uh, is, is worth every penny, I think. Um, anyway, uh, uh, again, if, if it goes back in my Nightwing collection, not not upset. That's a very nice piece by Booth. I've always been a fan of his work. Yeah, as I well. love that piece. I love that piece. So that's a good one. Okay, break. Open your box. Uh, uh oh. All right. <laughs> it it could be it could be ahead. I don't know. Let's see. I think I've seen a movie related to this. But here we go. Well, it's well wrapped, I can tell you that. <laughs> All right. Well, it it smells good, I can tell you that. There's a lot of dry ice in here. There. Let's see. Now, uh, did you get Michael on the screen, too? I don't need to be full screen only, because I think Michael has uh, a similar box. And uh, here we are. Thank you. Good. So I, have I did chocolate. not have time to make anything. I've been too busy. I wanted to make you guys like fudge and send it, but I didn't have time. So I figured this is our cake break. I bought myself like three dollar chocolate, <laughs> 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 but I got you guys the good stuff. So Bill, make sure you share with the ladies too. Well, I told you when Ooh. the package arrived, Maureen thought it was hers until she saw my name on it. So uh, she was partially right, I guess. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say that, but I didn't want to give it away. Tonight. Yeah. So hopefully no. you like it. So a little right. something sweet. Thank you, Tatiana. Thank you so much, Tatiana. Yes. You're welcome. See, we got a cake break in. I can't, that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, no, I think, you know, that's, what, that's what's been fun about this stuff. Just mixing, you know, having a, a good time while we're selling artwork is what makes this show fun. And I should let everybody know, this, so far tonight, I've never seen us hit 335 as a head count live in a show for any show that we've done. And uh, we hit like 320, 325 once about four or five weeks ago. So this 335 that we are consistently seeing this evening is definitely a record. So uh, Michael and Tatiana, it's all you. It's it, you are you brought Ooh. out the crowd tonight. So th it's 336 now. Look at that. It's just growing. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. And uh, hey, John Mancuti in the audience. Nice to see you. So uh, all right. Well, um, I'm not going to eat any chocolate because I'll make a mess. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, so I ate one. Mine were pretty good, actually. And I saw Jason Woods making an offer, but Jason, I believe that piece sold. Uh, the 2B artwork did sell earlier. At least I haven't marked it sold. It could be mistaken, but uh, yeah, Marcus Way is, is confirming that the 2B uh, was sold to Matt James for the 475 asking price. And and Mickey would like to claim the chocolate, but he cannot. Sorry, Mickey. <laughs> how about how about I'm gonna throw this out there. I am going to send a sweet treat to one random buyer of mine tonight. All right. There you go, everybody. You know, when we do the regular show, it's uh, portfolios and t-shirts. And when we do the amateur show, it's it's uh, chocolates and desserts. So just keep that in mind. This is wonderful. All right, so we are uh, I'll, I'll include I'll include one of the free folios I received from uh, from Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you probably got a dueling dealer sticker. You could you could throw one of those in there too. Absolutely right. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, I like this. I should I should get some of those stickers. I should start sending stuff out to everybody that buys. All right, ideas are percolating here, everybody. Uh, as we move into round nine, and now if the scores are accurate, accurate, we can see that it's what uh, just three thirty separating the two of you, and you're tied in total sales. So that's uh, 
it can't get any closer than this. This is great. Awesome. All right, so let me switch myself over to here and get the round nine artwork up here for you, Tatiana. Here we go. All right, Jason, I have an X-Men cover for you. So this is uh, Uncanny X-Men 35 variant cover by Sia Ohm, which is, uh, she's one of the amazing artists um, that I have the opportunity to rep. So I've had a few of my reps artists uh, featured so far today. So this is a really fun cover of Magic and Cyclops at the zoo. And, um, and Magic's having a good laugh at the fact that our, our resident monkeys here at the um, zoo are making faces at Scott like, you know, any smart animal should do. And, and Ileana <laughs> thinks that that's hilarious. So um, absolutely stunning cover, full color. Uh, not a lot of artists do those their um, artwork in full color, but Sia does some of her work in full color. So this is pencil, ink watercolor and Copic markers and is a completely fully detailed full cover, um, including a, an upset Scott Summers. <laughs> Come yeah. on, what you got for me, pig? A dollar. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing, you lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> that one came out great. <laughs> yes, uh, Ash and I were looking at it and how we wanted to put it together. I know you, you we had a different idea, and then he was he came up with that pattern of it. So it worked out good. I was happy with yeah, that one. That came out really good. All right, so we are moving over to your round nine artwork here, Michael. So let me cue this one up. Here we go. And now it's my turn to say I like big art, and I cannot lie. This is an amazing double page spread from uh, Avengers Assembled. Uh, this has the full team on it. We've got uh, Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, and Hawkeye squaring off against the new Zodiac. Uh, and the Zodiac's been sent to retrieve the ultimate nullifier that, uh, that uh, Black Widow is holding on to. Um, and they've been, they've been sent here by Thanos. So. Uh, page one of this issue was just a written recap, so these are actually the first two pages uh, of the issue. And uh, again, just you know, beautiful and amazing pencil work by Mark Bagley, uh, who just never ceases uh, to deliver when he's supposed to. And uh, this was just such a great series, uh, which was trying to tie the Avengers more firmly into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, so. Anyway. That's that's a nice bag. <laughs> what have we here, Tatiana? It's my next thing. This is All right, this is uh, I changed into a piece of paper. I, I was gonna say. <laughs> All right, so over <laughs> to round ten now for Tatiana, and let me get this on the screen to get us started. Sorry, I'm standing next to my chair. This piece is framed. Um, I promised, uh, I'm known for selling a lot of Michael Turner art. I promised some tonight. This is the first of two pieces. There are going to be two Turner pieces tonight. This is a full splash page from Ballistic, which was the first book that Mike was known for doing. He did the Ballistic miniseries. It includes the, um, the original, and it also includes the color guide by Nathan Cabrero, who was the colorist, and it's also signed by Nathan and Michael. Oh, we have a claim. Awesome. Yes, we do. Kavi uh, H. Yes. Kavi, if you live anywhere close by and you want to come pick it up, you can. Otherwise, we'll probably do it unframed, but you and I can talk about it afterwards to see how we want to handle it. Love it. Congratulations, Kavi and Tatiana. Show me the money. Yes! Show me the money. That's it, brother. You got to that shit. Show me the money. Hey, Jerry. Show me the money. Jerry, you better yell. Show me the money. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was that my favorite. Gonna... <laughs> that one will go down in history. That's as good as uh, you know, claim fifteen Dino. That's uh, that was perfect. I loved it. Uh, all right, uh, round <laughs> ten for you, Michael. And let me get this artwork queued up for you. And here we go. 
And so we're back to some classic DC now. And so this page from uh, almost 35 years ago, from issue three of the Justice League relaunch that was done uh, right after Crisis and uh, Legends. And we've got the, the full team uh, dealing with the nuclear uh, efforts uh, in Russia, uh, which introduces us to, to Rocket Red. This is the issue where uh, Captain Marvel joins the team and uh, everyone's there. It looks like there's a claim. There was a claim to Javier Soto. So Congratulations. I, babbling. <laughs> <laughs> I love Giffen's work. That's beautiful. Yeah, this is just this, this series was so much fun. And uh, these early issues, the, the work that uh, Keith did with with Kevin on uh, on the illustrations was awesome. So uh, congratulations. And we're up to 347 people watching us live, everybody. That is amazing. I'm telling you, I got to have you guys on every week. I'm going to I'm telling Mike and Anthony. They, I'm sorry, Anthony, you're in the audience. You, you got to hit the road. I'm, I'm having Michael and Tatiana on from now on. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> All right. So, well, congratulations to you both. You both had a nice sale this uh, for round 10. So we're moving. We got five more rounds to go before we get to the recap. So uh, two more of those rounds are still at 60 seconds. And look at the score. It's even tighter now. That's amazing. Ah, uh, yes. Another buyer whose dreams have come true. <laughs> very true. Very, very true. All right, so moving on to round 11. Let me get Tatiana's artwork up on the screen here. And here we go. All right, I have art that's uh, probably almost as old as I am now. This is a Todd McFarlane uh, tiger sketch. This was from um, someone sold out their entire collection. They'd been collecting art for decades. And um, really rare opportunity to get something from Todd, full figure oh, with sorry. background. Yeah. And just so you know, it was claimed and oh, Scott sorry. Wingo came in just ahead of Nick and Kevin K and Tim and uh, several others, Rich and Mike. So that one sold really quick. Awesome. Yeah, this wow. is a really, really awesome piece. So Hey, congratulations on your art sale. Have a Scooby snack. I think oh, you'll I get the tiebreaker. Uh, I'm having a Scooby snack. Tatiana, I think you'll get the tiebreaker for fastest sale tonight. So. Yeah, that that was yeah. Uh, that was very impressive. I couldn't even count the number of people that wanted to claim that piece. When I when I saw that piece, I wanted to claim it when we were before we were formatting the images, and I, I knew that one was going to go quick. So wow, Zoinks is right, John. So all right, over to round eleven for Michael here. Let me get that artwork queued up for you, Michael. And as Mr. Here. As Mr. Berkey might say, walloping web snappers. <laughs> hey, you don't Here's have to put a mask on. <laughs> I know. Here's a beautiful 90s Spider-Man page by the amazing Mark Bagley. I'm just a huge fan of Mark's work. And uh, this is uh, this is some of his classic artwork. Um, and it looks like it was claimed already. Wow, that was fast. Um, yes, anyway, a great page from issue 381. Congratulations to Scott. Yeah, that's a great pickup. Congratulations, Scott. That's, uh, yeah, you can't, can't go wrong. He owns this round. Michael. Oh. Living up to the name, destroying the competition. <laughs> Man, such a devious voice there. <laughs> All right, we're moving over to round 12. This is the last 60-second round, of course. So uh, after this, it'll be 90 seconds on the last three rounds. So moving over to you. Hey, where's that bell? That doesn't mean I'm stopping. We're, we're moving on to round 12. So let's get uh, Tatiana's round 12 artwork queued up here. And here we go. I promised everyone I'd bring spicy art for the show tonight. So it just gets spicier and spicier. So here we have a full splash page um, with art by Mark Silvestri and uh, Bat, Matt Banning. So original pencils and original inks. This is from Cyberforce issue 10, page 22. So the OG Cyberforce series from the 90s. Uh, beautiful full splash with all of the characters in it. 
Um, and if this one doesn't sell, I'm more than happy to put it back in the collection. But I wanted to offer a beautiful Mark piece for all of you, um, Mark Silvestri collectors out there. And it's really hard to find the really nice uh, vintage um, image stuff from him. So again, this is Cyberforce uh, 10, page 22. So pencils by Mark Silvestri um, and inks by Matt Banning, who also goes by the name Bat. And his birthday was yesterday. So, um, and if it doesn't sell here, we'll see you in the, in the, uh, recap, but again, happy to keep this one. All right. That's a beauty. Yeah. That's big man. You can't afford it. I got four dollars. I love that. I love that movie. I love that clip. You can't go wrong. All right. And uh, Jimmy the Greek was asking me to double check that, and I did double check that. I'm quite confident that uh, you were almost first, but not quite first. So there you have that. So we're moving over to Michael's round 12. And, and I know I'm missing some super chats here. Chuck Arnold, thank you so much. Uh, Aranga, thank you as well. I appreciate it. And uh, can't thank everyone enough, but let's get this round 12 artwork started here for Michael, and here we go. And so for those uh, in the audience who wanted an X-Men piece, uh, here we go. It's uh, from X-Men Annual 5 by Brent Anderson. Um, there, this page has uh, the Invisible Woman and Storm uh, there to rescue the rest of the Fantastic Four from the Badoon and uh, it looks like there might be a claim. Uh, so if you're a fan of Storm, this is just a great bottom panel. It's just uh, absolutely amazing. And uh, uh, looks old, so I'll stop <laughs> my spiel. Yeah, it's nice when you only have to read half your script, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, congratulations to AJ for picking that one up. Uh, Tatiana and I both loved that artwork when we saw it before the show started, so. That's right, I'm styling, I'm profiling, and I'm selling that sweet, sweet comic art. <laughs> Wonder uh, Man, uh, woo! <laughs> Another meme, I love that one. All right, so we are now moving over to round 13. These ones are 90 seconds versus the 60 second rounds because the artwork's a little bit pricier. Anything goes on the prices, as everyone knows. So Tatiana, let me get you around 13 artwork here on the screen, and we'll get this one rolling. All right, Batman fans, uh, this one's really spicy. So this is also for my personal collection. Uh, this is the other Michael Turner piece. So this is Michael Turner from Superman, Batman. We have a page with Batman fighting the, uh, the apocalypse um, towns here up in the first panel. And we got Batman in, in multiple panels here in his cool um, gear that he has for when they're on Apocalypse, you get a nice shot of Apocalypse down there on the bottom. And it looks like we have a claim. Yes, you do to Pat L. Congratulations, Pat. This Round was three. very hard for me to part with this one, so please give it a good home. <laughs> I love this page. I love Mike's Batman. Show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. <laughs> the producers love that one. I have a feeling we might see that one again before the show is over. <laughs> All right, moving over to your round 13 artwork, Michael. And uh, we've got, I know I've got a couple images to show for this one, too. We pull the uh, line art up first. So this one is very claimy. Uh, this is a Suicide Squad cover by John Romita Jr. Uh, John is now done with his DC contract, and uh, so he's not going to be doing any more. This was not only a cover to the comic book, uh, issue 11, but it was also used as the cover for the volume three trade paperback. So basically, you're getting two covers in one. Uh, it's just a, a beautiful, beautiful piece with Harley uh, front and center. Uh, we've got the movie coming out August 6th uh, by James Gunn, and uh, I just thought this would be a great piece uh, to have available to people since uh, since you just don't see John Romita uh, doing uh, any more DC covers in the future. So 
uh, great Harley Quinn with uh, Deadshot and uh, Killer Croc and Captain Boomerang and uh, Katana. Uh, they are uh, behind uh, Harley's leg and the Enchantress uh, over them all. So uh, I just thought this was a beautiful piece, uh, great line work, the great inking by Danny Mickey, who just does uh, beautiful work over uh, over John's lines. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous uh, Mickey uh, inks. So uh, the, the night, uh, Nightwing covers the two of them did together were just amazing, and uh, so, so too is this. But uh, uh, yeah. wow, I'm, I'm surprised. Well, there's Once again out on the prowl for comic art buyers. Please don't leave me hanging out in the cold. Yeah, that's one costume you don't want to be wearing if it's uh, cold outside. <laughs> so uh, true. So yeah. true. <laughs> we are moving over to round 14. Two more rounds to go before we get to the recap, ladies and gentlemen. So, Tatiana, you get to start us off here with this round 14 artwork, and here we go. And once again, I should point out, look at how close the score is. Uh, we haven't seen anything like this in quite a while, so we're only uh, th 370 separating the two of you. Here we go. All right. So, uh, speaking of spicy art, how about an Arthur Adams cover? So we have an Arthur Adams Vampirella cover to uh, Vampirary Fury Tales number one, um, and it's a, an incredibly detailed vampy piece here. So we have the, um, you know, her lounging seductively here. These beautiful pillows in the background, and as Arthur does, um, he has to go 110% on everything including the swirls in the pillows behind her because anyone's looking at the pillows behind her. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this is a, a, a completely packed piece and it's uh, very affordable compared to a lot of his covers due to the, uh, the size of the piece. So it is smaller, but it is a, a published cover. Again, like I said, it is Vampir Vampirella Fury Tales number one. Um, yes, that, that pillow is definitely smiling, Migs. So... <laughs> Um, this piece was done in 2009, but it was used as a cover more, more recently. I don't remember exactly when, so somebody just asked about that, but it was used as a cover more recently. So stunning piece. Let me get the zoom in on her face. Cause that's what we're all looking at. It's her face. So, and then the pillows, like check that out, check out the details on this ridiculous, it's ridiculous. The that's detail the on the pillows there. And remember, I always, always take payment plans. Always. Nah, who do I care? Chimichangas are cheap. Keep your money. <laughs> yes, uh, we'll see those pillows again once in, in the recap. So here we are, Michael, to your round 14 artwork. And let me get this on screen right now. And once again... Who doesn't love big art? Not me, not me. Uh, this beauty, which is 14 by 20, is the uh, cover by Isad Ribic uh, for Fantastic Four, issue number eight. Uh, the really cool thing about this, you've got Johnny Storm fighting against Victorious in front of the fallen Galactus. He's lying there in the background. And if uh, you're reading the current version of, of Fantastic Four, the current publications, you'll know that uh, Johnny Storm just slept with Victorious. And of course, that's going to have some really bad repercussions coming because uh, Victorious is Doom's bride-to-be. So uh, here is their first uh, love-hate uh, in cover form. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous piece uh, by Assad. Uh, and for me, it was fun because of the Galactus uh, inclusion. Uh, like I said, that's going to be uh, that's that's going to be a, another piece that, if it ends up staying with me, I'm I'm not unhappy. Um, but uh, just uh, knowing where the storyline is going coming forward, I just thought this was a really cool piece to put forward uh, in case anybody had uh, had also the same kind of interest and intrigue as I do with the current Fantastic Four. Uh, Storylines by Dan Slott, who's just doing a bang up job. So, um, beautiful piece. I guess we'll see it again in the recap. 
Fred and Velma told me you don't stand a ghost of a chance to sell any artwork today. <laughs> hey. So someone <laughs> asked, and uh, no, that is not actually that was not actually a chimichanga. Um, <laughs> I had burritos in the freezer, and somebody ate them before I could shoot the video. So it's actually a Portuguese sausage that was wrapped in aluminum foil, wrapped in a towel, and then wrapped in another aluminum foil. It was not, not an actual burrito. <laughs> yes, Gotta that would have been that, that would have been one of the, the would have been a world's record burrito if it were. And uh, look at those scores, everybody. It's uh, neck and neck as we go into uh, this next round here, the final round. We're going into round fifteen. And uh, let's see. And yes, we've got, uh, we're still over 340 people watching the show. You, this is phenomenal records being broken all evening. So uh, round 15 here for you, Tatiana. Let me get it on all the screen. Right. Get ready, everyone. This one's a doozy. This one's a doozy. So Sean Gordon Murphy is one of the heart, hottest, if not the hottest, uh, modern comic book artists out there these days. Um, this is the cover to Batgirl 26 amazing action shot i collect his art and um it, it's just absolutely incredible the detail he's so such an amazing artist and um for reference just so you guys know the um the cover to white knight number one which features uh joker just sold on comic link last week for eighteen thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars so um so we're offering this at, at significantly less than that, but it's still an insanely beautiful DC cover featuring Batgirl and an amazing action shot. This is not the kind of um, pose you get from a lot of artists because this is not easy to draw. Very challenging to draw this type of pose. Sean's art is one of those, uh, he's one of those guys whose artist just looks 10 times better in person. The detail in his uh, brushwork, uh, for those of you who appreciate um, using ink, there's so much depth. There's so much energy in his work. Um, and more than happy to do a payment plan on this if you need an extended plan to make it happen for you. Uh, Sean is somebody I highly, highly recommend getting in anyone's collection. And his prices are only going to go up. He's just about the hottest thing out there right now. Very true. Very true. I'd like to add. I think somebody in the chat might have a clue as to why we're not selling any artwork tonight. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> round 15. Uh, this is the final piece uh, of our regular one through 15 rounds here before we go to the recap. So, Michael, I know we've got two images to show for this one. So I'll pull the first one up. Yeah. So as people might expect, I'm ending the night with a Perez piece. Uh, this is a really special piece. It's from the history of the DC Universe. Uh, it is the page with Captain Marvel Shazam. Uh, you can see it's got several overlays. Here you can see the, the wizard overlay over the beautiful image of uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, this is really special for, for a reason that people might not realize, and that is because of Crisis on Infinite Earths, this history of the DC Universe appearance integrated the Marvel family, the Shazam family, into the DC universe proper. So this is the page where, where uh, Shazam becomes part of the DC universe, uh, for better or for worse. Uh, and that's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, full page, oversized sheet. It's 13 by 20. Um, just beautiful work by George and Carl Kessel. And uh, just uh, even has original notes uh, with respect to uh, how to how to lay in the, the various panels uh, with, with respect to the, uh, the the additional information that they put on the page. So, um, gosh, I didn't did I hear a bell? I didn't hear a bell. So, oh no, wait, okay. I, I didn't see the I timer. Apologize. I, I uh, so it. essentially, yes. It's kind of his birth page into the DCU as a result, yes. Michael is caught in a nightmare. He'll never win, as I've taken everyone into the dreaming. 
but yeah, I wanted to try to get you bigger on the screen because I knew with the overlays and the detail, you know, do you want to hold it up just one last time? Because I thought that it would be good for people to see the different layers a little bit better than what we could do with the Sure, slides. yeah, and it's, it, it's kind of, it's kind of hard. So you, you start with, with the main figure and then you, you get to add the wizard on an overlay and added to that is lightning effects on a second overlay. So Got it. it's, it's a, it's a three, uh, three component piece, but it's really beautiful. And uh, the, the, the full page splashes that George did for that book were just amazing. I agree, I agree. And, and hey, uh, we are at the end of round 15, and I know that some people will be leaving because they're not gonna hang out for the recap. So if uh, you did purchase an artwork and you're not staying all the way through the recap, let me just pull up the email addresses for both of our sellers this evening. So please write those down and include your mailing address and the name from which you were using this evening on YouTube or Facebook and let them uh, know uh, which pieces you picked up and they will get in touch with you. All right. All right. And if you're hanging out for the recap, this is uh, where, where some of the fun might begin. We did a very good job selling this going through this. We have eight pieces remaining for both of you. And Tatiana, we're going to start off with you. And you did sell both your round one artworks. So let me get you started over here because we're going to pull up the 2A artwork to get you started. And uh, am I, I'm sorry, I just want to check the chat because I know some people do like to throw uh, offers out there. Uh, Michael was offering you, uh, well, if, I don't know, if you, want, if you want to answer that one, Michael, you're being offered 750 on your 3B artwork uh, that you had uh, $1,000 on. That was the Flash 220 page. I, I could do 850. If Dewey wants to do 850, I can do that. Okay. So I'm going to write that down. That was three three B. You're putting at 850 for the moment. And uh, Rich Donnelly is offering uh, what was that? 18 oh 1800 on the Tatiana piece. If I'm not mistaken, right? That was the your round nine artwork that you had 2200 dollars on. Uh, yeah, the lowest I can go on that's 2000. Okay. So I'm going to mark that at 2000 right now, and we'll see that when we pull the recap up. So uh, if Rich wants it, that's that's the price. I don't see any other offers being thrown out there yet, so we'll go ahead and start off with uh, Tatiana, your round 2A artwork here. Let me get this on the screen, and we'll get this going. So I did just want to mention really quickly, I know I have a lot of clients who are overseas who miss seeing the show when it's on, so if anything doesn't sell by the end of the show, I'm giving all of my my regulars 24 hours to contact me afterwards if anything's left so just fyi i wanted to throw that out there all right, all right. so we have the marini batman um bus sketch here head bust sketch pencil again he can be very difficult to get if you don't get an opportunity i can do 300 on this one all right anybody and interested and we're going to give you a couple extra seconds because you were you're given that pitch at the front so uh no it's a so your, your best price is 300 dollars on the 2a artwork that's good um yeah probably 300 okay. on this one and, oh it looks uh, like tim's getting it tim Winhold did pick that one up and i will mention as well that uh, rich donnelly did pick up your round nine artwork for two thousand dollars he agreed to your price great all right, very good. So now we're moving over to, and I'm, uh, she's got the wrong, you got the wrong, per there we go. All right, I didn't do that. All right, here we go. This is your 3A artwork, the boys illustration. You had $600 right. on this one. Yeah, I could do uh, 525 on this. Oh. It features the whole team. We've got Butcher in the front, and we have the rest of the team in the back. I could do 525. So again, one of the most popular shows on television um, this is an unpublished piece, but getting published uh, art from him is getting really, really, really hard. The, the pieces are very few and far between. So um, I can do, yeah, 525. So if anyone's interested in this one. Okay, so you're at 525 for your 3A artwork. That is a good price on that one. Uh, your next artwork up is your 4B artwork from Adi Grenov. Oh, it looks like we got a claim on the... The boys piece of, I'll take 500, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 500 on 3A. All right, All right. so you were at $1,000 on the 4B artwork. Yeah, um, anyone interested in this at 900? I can do 900. Again, very super detailed. 
super detailed piece here um, of a Sherlock, Benedict Cumberbatch Sherlock. And then uh, let's see, what about 800? 800 is the lowest I can go on this one, if anyone wants it. All right. 800 on the Adi Granov Benedict Cumberbatch. And Nick, the uh, the one did sell at for five hundred. You're a little late on that one. Uh, would sure we, we would have been happy to take five twenty five, but it did sell for five hundred to Jimmy the Greek. So uh, I'm not sure if you're a little slow on the on your live feed there, but you might want to click the live button on there just in case to make sure that you are. All right. So now we're moving over to your was it the round six artwork? This was uh, the Francis Manipal artwork, and it was yeah. at fifteen hundred dollars. Um, so this is the cover. Great deal already for a Francis piece. I can do thirteen fifty, um, but this is. I mean, Francis's stuff is gorgeous. It's a really, really beautiful cover, and his DC stuff costs a lot more. So I mean, Aspen Books are very popular. So it's not. Uh, you know, while they're a small press company, it's still a, a pretty well known book. So I can do thirteen fifty on this one if anyone's interested. All right. So that was thirteen fifty on your round six artwork, and remember, everybody, we uh, you can make your claims all the way up until the end of the, the recap being completely done. So keep your pencil and paper handy so you know what these prices are, and uh, you can still score it before the end of the show. So now we're moving over to now. This piece was uh, sold already as well. This was the round nine artwork that Rich Donnelly picked up for two thousand dollars. We need to get the round eleven artwork on the screen. It looks like we have a claim for the. Or I'm sorry, the Francis Manipal. And you are absolutely correct. Pat L. At 1350, right? At 1350. Okay. And yes, we're moving. Uh, so just making sure we got that one out there there for uh, okay, got it. All right, thank you, Pat. Now we are moving to round 12. All right, so this is the Mark Silvestri uh, and Bat Cyberforce 20. Um, 10 page 22 splash page. This is, um, again, full page splash. I can do, it's 2000 right now. I can do 1750 if anyone's interested. Full page vintage Sylvester image, Cyberforce splash. The characters in this splash, I don't know offhand. I'd have to pull out the comic book and look. All right. I love Sylvester. I, I've actually never owned a work by Mark. So one one of these days, I will get something. I know Joe has inked Mark uh, many times. So he's All right. inked Mark a lot. Yeah, definitely. Yes. All right. So at 1750, everybody on the round 12 artwork. So we've got two more pieces for Tatiana to show off. This is uh, first or round 14 artwork that was at eight thousand um, dollars. So the lowest I can go on this one, seven thousand. Again, it's a published Arthur Adams Vampirella cover. And uh, he does a really nice Vampirella. So definitely one of the characters that he, um, you know, in a lot of ways has popularized. People love the way he draws Vampirella. So lowest I can go on this is 7000 And again, that's a very affordable price for an Arthur Adams cover due to the size of the piece, since it's not a large, large one. Very, very true. Somebody in this uh, studio has a really nice Art Adams commission, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so, uh, yes, that's a beauty. It's Where's Alberto? <laughs> Where's Alberto? All right, so let's see. That was a seven by 10. So now we're moving on to your round 15 artwork. This was the Sean Gordon Murphy masterpiece. Mm -hmm. at uh, You were at $12,500. Yeah. What are you offering six that, wait. Uh, Jimmy the Greek, I think, oh. is offering you six thousand on the Art Adams. Yeah, I can't. I can't on that one. Sorry. Um, so this is the Sean Gordon Murphy again. This is Batgirl twenty six cover. Gorgeous um, ink work here. Sean's market is only going up. Uh, I can do eleven thousand on this. Is the lowest I can go on this one. And payment plans are always accepted. I'm very easy to work with on payment plans. All right, keep that in mind, everyone. Sometimes the prices are high; it's harder to pull the trigger. But if uh, the sellers are willing to take uh, installment payments, it's always a 
good way to go to pick up something that you might not get the chance to pick up otherwise. All right, so uh, if those sales are accurate, and I believe they are based on the pieces I have listed as unsold, so Tatiana, you are now in the lead by just under $4,000 in sales. Congratulations. So, <laughs> all right, so Michael. Do it, Tim. Do it. Do it, right. Tim. <laughs> Do it. He's definitely thinking about it. He is. A, he is a very big Batman fan. I know that. So, uh, so any and uh, yeah, that would be a nice piece to add to this collection. But Michael, we are going to uh, get you started off with. Let's see. We are one, round one A sold to uh, Rob. So we're going to start you off with your one uh, B artwork here, and it does have two images. Right. So this beautiful fables uh, page and its uh, unpublished uh, companion. Uh, look, I I, I want to be a seller today, so I'm going to drop this to 250 uh, if people are interested in this. Fables, again, just one of those amazing series. This was the graphic novel. Uh, oh. Your audio. Work. Uh, I just love his stuff. So, uh, well, you're off. so uh, your, your audio broke up there, but it does appear that Christopher Daly... Uh, Offered two seventy five for it, uh, even though it was at two fifty. Sounds, sound, sounds good to me. <laughs> All right, Chris Daly. All right, you never know what's going to happen in the yeah. recap, everybody. All right, so That's get that one true. off the off the screen. Now the next one up is so the, uh, the yes, the three B artwork. You had you were at eight fifty. Three B. Yes, I'm so sorry. I, 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 I dropped it down to 850. Uh, if anyone's interested at 850, uh, I know that there was a offer of 750, but that's just I can't go quite that low because I have uh, I have a little bit more into it. Um, EC is offering you eight at the moment. Um, all right, we're trying to sell today. Yes, I'll do 800 for EC. All right, let me pull that on the screen here. E.C. Harris getting the Giordano piece for $800. Congratulations, E.C. Sorry, Nick. You should have claimed it faster. <laughs> we said that to Nick once already. I, Nick, you got make sure you press that uh, live button. It'll it, it, You might be a few seconds behind everyone else, so that, that may be the trouble here. But, uh, okay, so now that we're past the 3B artwork, we're jumping all the way up to your round seven artwork. So, uh, ooh, uh, the, uh, the Marvel team up page, I had uh, at 1750, I can do 1500 on this. Um, it is, again, it's just a beautiful fight page, uh, which, is, which makes it uh, even more fun. Um, not, just, uh, not just simply a sal page, but a good, good fight. Uh, involving pitchforks and fire blasts. So, uh, 1500. Um, in fact, uh, I'll even do 1400 if someone wants to do 1400. I'll go down to that. All right. So, you Oops, dropped. But someone claimed it at 15 before I did that. So, yes, that Ooh. did come in. Coco Fox Studios. That's a new name. Welcome to the show, Coco Fox. Okay, now we're over to your round eight artwork. You were at $1,875. Was the Daredevil page claimed? Uh, sorry, let me, I'm have to look through my notes here. Uh, oh, the, yeah, the Gil Kane Daredevil was claimed by, yes, it was by Ted Latner. Oh, okay, good, sorry. I, I had it as unclaimed. All right, so this Brett Booth uh, piece um, from, from Rebirth, uh, I, I love Brett and his, his artwork sells uh, very well uh, on the market. But again, I'm here to wheel and deal. So uh, I'll drop that to 1500 uh, if people are interested, 1500 which is the, uh, the price that the artist's rep had placed on the page uh, as the original price when I bought it. So uh, I will drop it down to 1500 if people are interested. Uh, and it looks like there might be a claim from Chrono Chaser. That is correct. Right before Christopher Edwards also tried to uh, to claim it, but Chrono Chaser got in just seconds before. Congratulations, Chrono Chaser eighty seven. You got that one for fifteen hundred dollars. And uh, now we're going to move to your round nine artwork, which was the Mark Bagley DPS. 
right? The Avengers Assembled uh, versus uh, the new uh, version of the Zodiac. Uh, it's marked at two. I, I'll, I'll drop that to 1700 if someone's interested in 1700. Uh, just amazing pencil work, beautiful, beautiful work done by Mark. Uh, all of the characters that, that uh, were in the Avengers at the time are on this page between Thor and uh, Hulk, the real Hulk, not the red Hulk. Uh, and of course, Black Widow, whose movie's coming out soon. All right, so you've got uh, that artwork, your round nine artwork at $1,700. And we've got just three more artworks to look at here, your 13, 14, and 15 rounds artwork. So we'll start off with 13 here. You're at $6,300. All right, so John, John Romita Jr. at 6300 I'm going to drop this down to 5000 uh, because I, I think it deserves to have a good home. And uh, like I said, uh, John work in uh, DC is at an end, so you're you're not going to be seeing him do very much more with uh, these characters ever again. It's so used twice as a cover, two separate occasions. Uh, beautiful Harley Quinn, a very busty Harley Quinn, uh, front and center. Uh, so, uh, in, in fact, I'll I'll do forty five hundred if someone wants it uh, before the end of the show. All right, you've dropped your round 13 artwork to $4,500. We've got two more pieces to uh, recap here for you. Next up is your round 14 artwork. So, yes, this beautiful Isad uh, Ribic cover. Um, I'll, I'll drop the price down to $5,500 if someone's interested in it. Again, it's, a, it's one of those pieces that this has got Galactus, and I'm a big Galactus fan. Uh, I have no problem holding on to this. Uh, but at 5,500, if someone wants it, uh, I'd be willing to let it go. So just uh, gorgeous, gorgeous artwork uh, with uh, two very important players in the current Fantastic Four. So. All right. So now we are down to your final artwork. That one, last one was at 5,500. This one, uh, you're around 15. You were at 8,500 dollars. 8,500. So this one was, for me was tough. Tough to, to price, and partly because there's a Superman currently in the Heritage auction, and uh, I, you know, we, it hasn't it hasn't ended until uh, later in the week. I expect it to end somewhere close to ten thousand, but you know, I, I would drop this to seventy five. Uh, you know what? I'll drop it to seven thousand. Uh, I'm not fifteen hundred off the price. Uh, again, full page, uh, beautiful splash from a very historic appearance uh, of Captain Marvel in the history of the DCU. Uh, the series that was done, uh, and uh, I just uh, I have no problem putting this back into, into my uh, into my collection. I'm a big Perez fan, so it'll have always a good home here. One of the biggest Perez fans, without question. All right, so uh, that's the end of the recap. We do take 60 seconds to kind of double check our numbers here, and we will also. Uh, give everybody any opportunities if they'd like to make any last minute offers to either of these sellers. Uh, I think, uh, let's see, we're still adding up Michael's total. So that's why we have this uh, moment where we can at least look over everything. I think, let's see, um, Michael, you have still had one, you had your 1B artwork still out there. That was the Gene Ha piece. And then. No, that's uh, sold. That's sold for 250. Oh, I, I apologize. I didn't mark it. You're right. That one sold to Chris Daly. We had the uh, round nine artwork. For our Mark Bagley, that was at seventeen hundred, and then thirteen through fifteen were still unsold. The John Romita Jr. Suicide Squad cover was forty five hundred, the Assad piece fifty five hundred, and the George Perez uh, final piece was seven thousand even. And then Tatiana, you still had the four uh, B Adi Granov Bennett Benedict Cumberbatch piece for eight hundred dollars. The round six artwork, uh, no, that one actually sold to Pat. Sorry, I didn't mark that one. Uh, then we have to jump all the way up to round 12, which was the Mark Silvestri Cyberforce page. You were at 1750. And then 14, you had the Arthur Adams Vampirella cover for seven. And your round 15 artwork was Sean Gordon Murphy that was at $11,000. So, uh, and it looks like Tim claimed the Murphy cover at 11. And I, yes, I'm getting talked to in my ear over here. Where did I? I'm trying to, how far up do I have to scroll? This. There was a lot of. It's comments. there. He he claimed ah, he claimed yep. it eleven. I found it. Claim Tatiana fifteen. There you go. Congratulations. Yeah, you're gonna Sam. love this piece. You're gonna. I mean, I love Sean stuff. Um, 
you're going to be so in love with this. I'm selling this piece for a really good friend of mine and I wanted to buy it so bad. And I'm like, nope, put it in the dueling dealers. But I wanted it so bad. So yeah. The only other one, the Silvestri, I'll, I'll go as low as 1600. I can't move on any of the other ones, but I'll go as low as 1600 on the Silvestri. And if, uh, and if someone wants to put together a package deal with uh, any of my remaining pieces, uh, uh, I'll can I'll consider a bit of a discount if we can get to uh, to eleven thousand. That's because I want to win. <laughs> exactly. You needed a Galactus statue, and you should have been you know mouthing anything. And it, do you do you have a Galactus statue? You should have one if you don't. I I, I used to. What I have now is one of those pop um, versions of Galactus. Sure. Sure. Uh, let's see. So I'm just checking the counts here as far as the sales, too. We got one, two. I just want to make sure everything's right. I think Tatiana actually had 16 sales versus 15. But uh, uh, that last one was the doozy of the night, certainly. Con you know, that's an amazing pickup, Tim. So congratulations on that. Congratulations to Tatiana as well. That was uh, well neck and neck right up until the end. It looked like, Michael, you, you had just barely uh, would have had a win there and then snatched from the whatever you want to call it jaws of victory i, I guess I is what snatched, used to say. I, yes i snatched defeat from the jaws of victory it was yes you did. Points. now that was a great sale all right <laughs> they had to play that one i didn't i thought we were going to get get by without having to see that one this evening uh yes nick frucci that's exactly right over forty six thousand dollars is a very good night for even our professional dueling dealers so congratulations to uh everybody in the audience for picking up artwork and especially to tatiana and michael for taking the time out tonight uh, i'm sure as you found it's not an easy task to assemble the artwork to pick i mean 19 pieces is a lot of artwork to, to bring to market at one time yeah yeah but it was a lot of fun uh going through and putting it together and you know if i get to do this again uh, I'll, I'll have to bring out some perez titans pages if you do that, we maybe we could even get to 400 people watching the show live. So, I mean, that, again, and that was pretty amazing. I've never seen it that, you know, over 325 before. So when we almost hit 350 this evening, and that's that's unheard of. I, I've never had a, uh, had a had a live stream where we've had that many people watching the show at one time. So, I, you know, I, I really appreciate it, both of you. I know that, uh, Tatiana, you sent out several emails letting people know what you were bringing, and all those things really do help get people in the door when that's right, I'm styling, I'm profiling, and I'm selling that sweet, sweet comic art. We, hey, the producers are having fun now. So, <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, so Tim's taking Wednesday night off. Well, Wednesday, I can tell everybody, Wednesday night is our sketch show because of the Heritage Signature Auction that starts on Thursday. So we, we learned our lesson after going up against that one signature auction that they had in the uh, late winter where we really didn't sell anything. So different model when we do that particular show. So uh, it should be, it'll be different, not as much uh, dollar wise, but uh, a few more pieces of art than we normally would have. So uh, again, both of you, thank you so much. And Tatiana, I am going to have some chocolate before the girls <laughs> come in here. So uh, again, I can't uh, thank you enough. This was, this was great. Uh, yeah, and I hope that uh, one day that I get some gifts like this from uh, you know the other dealers who who, uh, who I, I work with here because I I like food. I mean you know I mean clothing is good, stickers are good, portfolios are nice, but candy definitely rules the the, the house here. So thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. And again, like I said, any of my clients who missed this, I have three pieces left. So if you want any of those, 24 hours. You have 24 hours to. Uh, claim them at the final prices there. And Michael, this has been a lot of fun. So thank you for agreeing to do totally. this with me. Yeah. Right back at you. You were a delight, a delight to have as an opponent. So yeah. this has been great. Yeah, this worked out really well. And uh, I'm looking forward to the sweets. So. All right. <laughs> all right, everybody. We're good. Still so like a like, sweet. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I guess we're going to call it an evening. See, this is a quick show tonight. You know, I, I think the, again, the professional dealers could learn a little bit by keeping it, keeping it, uh, tight, crisp, you know, to the point and, uh, you get shows done in an hour and a half. Now I want to bring up, yep. See the produ producers are always on top of me here to get the, the information out. This is, if you claimed an artwork this evening, please email both sellers 
tonight. Don't wait till tomorrow. Do it this evening. Let them know which artwork or artworks you claimed, what your mailing address is, and what your Facebook or YouTube handle is so that they can get in touch with you and they'll get you the full, you know, if you, if you bought more than one piece, they'll get you the full amount and get invoices out to you right away unless you're working out some kind of time payment situation with either of them. So again, thank you so much to everyone for tuning in and making this a record setting night as in terms of the audience uh, that we had live. I, you know, I'm blown away. You guys are fantastic. It seems like the show continues to, to gain momentum every time we do it. So, uh, but definitely I, as, it, as it was already said in the chat, everybody said that regardless of who wins, you both should come back sometime in the future. So, you know, they, you will always have an open love invitation. That. Yeah, I love that. Thanks, Bill. For, you do you do such a great job hosting, Bill. So thanks again. Well, my pleasure. So all right, everybody, have a good evening. And uh, you know what? I'll be back on here tomorrow night at 9 doing a, uh, I think I've got a Hakes preview. And and uh, uh, Fran, a friend of mine, Francis, will be on the show. And we'll be looking at their art from their collection. It's going to be a lot of fun. Good evening, everybody.